In this video, we're going to talk about how to simplify fractional exponents. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's say if we have 8 raised to the 2 over 3 power. What is that equal to? How can we find the value of this expression? If you know the answer or if you know how to do it, feel free to pause the video and try it. Now the best way to answer it is to separate the fraction into two parts. So this is equivalent to 8 raised to the 1 3rd power, which is raised to the 2nd power. 1 3rd times 2 is 2 thirds. So what is 8 raised to the 1 3rd? Whenever you raise something to the 1 3rd power, you're basically looking for the cube root. So what is the cube root of 8? What number times itself three times is 8. So what times what times what is 8? It turns out that the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 times 2 times 2 three times is 8. And so now we got to figure out what 2 squared is. 2 squared is basically taking two twos and multiplying them together. 2 squared is equal to 4. And so 8 raised to the 2 thirds power is 4. So now that you know how to do that one, Go ahead and try this one. Calculate the value of 16 raised to the 5 fourths. So first, let's find the fourth root of 16. And then, let's raise it to the fifth power. So what number times itself 4 times is equal to 16? The fourth root of 16 is 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 4 times is 16. Now, what is the value of 2 to the 5th power? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 5 times is equal to 32. And so that's the answer. Let's try another example. Calculate the value of 9 raised to the 3 over 2. So once again, we're going to find the square root of 9, which is 9 to the 1 half. And then, we're going to raise it to the third power. The square root of 9 is 3. And 3 to the third power, which is basically 3 times 3 times 3, 3 times. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So 9 to the 3 halves is 27. What is the cube root of 64 squared? What can we do if we have a radical and an exponent on the inside? Well, you can change it into its exponential form. You can write it as a fractional exponent. This is equivalent to 64 raised to the 2 thirds, which is the cube root of 64 raised to the second power. Now, what is the cube root of 64? What number times itself 3 times is 64? 4 times 4 times 4, that's 64, so we're going to have uh, 4 squared. And 4 squared, or 4 times 4, is 16. So the cube root of 64 squared is simply 16. Try this one. Calculate the fourth root of 81 cubed. So let's rewrite it. This is 81 raised to the 3 fourths, which we can find the fourth root first, and then we'll raise it to the third power. The fourth root of 81 is 3, because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 4 times is 81. And 3 to the third, we've uh, calculated uh, this value already. It's 27. Here's another one that we could try. What about the fifth root of 32 raised to the fourth power? So just like before, we can rewrite it like this. So we need to find the fifth root first and then raise it to the fourth power. The fifth root of 32 is 5. I mean, not 5, but 2. And 2 to the fourth power 
that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, and those 2's will also make a 4. 4 times 4 is 16. So 16 is the final answer. Now what would you do if we have a, a negative exponent? Let's say 25 raised to the 3 over 2. What does that equal? If you have a negative exponent, you can make it positive by taking the 25 and putting it to the bottom. Now first, we need to find the square root of 25. And then, we need to raise this to the third power. The square root of 25 is 5. And 5 raised to the third power, 5 times 5 times 5 3 times, that's 125. So the final answer is 1 divided by 125. And so that's it. Now, how would you simplify this expression? What is the cube root of x to the fourth power multiplied by the fourth root of x to the fifth power? What would you do here? Now, we can't multiply x to the fourth times x to the five. The reason being is the index numbers are not the same. If they were the same, we could do that. But since they're not the same, we can't. So how can we simplify this expression? In order to do so, we need to convert the radical expression to a fractional exponent. So the cube root of x to the fourth is the same as x raised to the four thirds. And the other one is going to be x raised to the five fourths. Now let's go over some basic rules of algebra. Whenever you multiply by a common base, you may add the exponents. So x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth power. 2 plus 3 is 5. So in this case, we need to add the two fractions. And to add them, you need to get common denominators. So let's find out what 4 over 3 plus 5 over 4 is equal to. The least common multiple of 3 and 4 is 12. So let's multiply this fraction by 3 over 3 and the other one by 4 over 4. So this is going to equal 16 over 12 plus 15 over 12. 16 plus 15 is uh, 31. So this is 31 over 12. So thus we have x raised to the 31 over 12, which we can rewrite it as the 12th root of x to the 31 power. Now, if we want to, we can simplify uh, that radical. It's not fully simplified, but let's go ahead and simplify. Now, how many times does 12 go into 31? 12 goes into 31 two times. 12 times 2 is 24, but first, I'm going to split it into two radicals. 24 and 7 adds up to 31. Now, 24 divided by 12 is 2, so this is going to be x squared times the 12th root of x to the 7. So if you want to simplify it, that's the final answer. Let's try this one. What is the uh, fifth root of x cubed divided by, let's say, the fourth root? of x to the 7. Try this one. Go ahead and simplify. So first, let's convert it into a fractional exponent. This is going to be x raised to the 3 over 5 divided by x raised to the 7 over 4. Now, when you're dividing by two common bases, you need to subtract the exponent. 7 minus 2 is 5. So in this case, we got to subtract the fractions. So we have 3 over 5 minus 7 over 4. So let's go ahead and get common denominators. Let's multiply this fraction by 5 over 5 and the other one by 4 over 4. So this will give us a common denominator of 20. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20. 7 times 5 is 35. And 12 minus 35 is negative 23 over 20. 
So that's what we have at this point, x raised to the negative 23 over 20, which is 1 over x to the 23rd over 20, which if we convert it back to radical form, this is the 20th root of x to the 23rd. 20 goes into 23 one time, so we can take out an x. And 23 minus 20 is 3, so there's 3 left over. But the index number will remain 20. But we have a 3 left over on the inside. Now, some teachers may require you to put an absolute value. If you have an even index number, and if you get an odd exponent a variable coming out of the radical, you need to enclose it in parentheses. I mean, not parentheses, but absolute value. So that you should write it as an absolute value of x times the 20th root of x cubed. So this is going to be the final answer to this problem. And so that's it for this video. If you want to find more videos on algebra, exponents, order of operations, feel free to check out my channel, look for my playlist, and you can find topics on chemistry, physics, and you can check out my website, video-tutor.net. You can also access all of my playlists uh, there as well. So thanks for watching and have a great day.